Hey, what's up, everyone? So uh, today, I want to show you how to uh, do uh, Epic. We're going to install the game. We're going to place some media on it and get it ready to play. We're going to cover uh, the auto hotkey. We're going to do how to make it and where to put it and get this game going for you. Um, after this video, and then one following at this, I want to show you how to make cover videos. That's all the videos that you see me using on my system. So I want to show you how to do it. And we're going to make one for this game. Um, we're going to have placeholder media files after this video. So I want to have all those down in the description below. And majority of those should already install when you install this game as well. Uh, this game here is not free, but only costs like $2 to get on Steam. Um, it's for $2 buy. If you have Steam, I'd recommend getting it. It's a very good game. It's fun. And I'll show you how to get that done. Let's go. All right, first thing we need to do is open up our Steam. Uh, download Steam if you haven't created your account. And you're going to go to your store and you want to type in Epic. You'll pull this up. Now, up here, you want to see the number after the app. You'll want to write this down or just leave this in a place where you can pull this up fast. Because we want to use this number to import this game. I'm going to open up your launch box and you're going to right click just anywhere. If you don't have a computer's category, it doesn't matter. It'll populate once we get this game in. Uh, we've already done a shooter gallery, so if you'd like to try this and kind of get your feet wet, it's a good game to do it. And I've done a previous video over this. But here, right click, come to edit, edit metadata. And we're just going to type in Epic. Let's try that again. Okay, so I had problems getting this game to pull up. I don't know why. The only thing I think of is when it says last play, I had a date on that. So I just make sure everything in here is blank. And then type in the word epic. And you're going to want the epic post apocalyptic robot command for Windows. You'll auto populate that. Then we want to come down to our media, download our media. And as usual, just sit and let us do its thing. All right, so we got these right here, and that's all we're going to need for now. So just go ahead and hit download. All right, now we can use all that. Uh, come to launching, and you're going to put in your application path. Now, this is where that Steam number comes into play. All right, so the number that you're going to need is going to be uh, 27510. Again, you can just pull that up from your Steam store. So in your application path, all this is going to be together. And you're going to have Steam colon forward slash forward slash run game ID forward slash to a seven zero five one zero. Okay, that's all you're going to need for there. We're going to come back to our images and we're going to change some of these around. So I want to change this banner to a background images and we're going to do fan art. So that'll give us a nice little fan art video or a fan art background whenever the game launches in big box now we come to videos and we're going to add a video and this is going to be a placeholder until we get our actual uh, our actual um, cover video made i want to have this in a folder along with the rest of this so if you can't pull the media up i will have it supplied for you but I want to open up my folder here. That's going to be the video we're going to use as a placeholder. Hit open and change that video snap to a theme of video. Hit OK. All right, now we're all set up here. Hit your F5 to refresh everything. All right, so we got our theme art video here. You have that. I think we need to do one more thing. 
Images. Okay, it's all stuff I had from earlier. So take that. I want to have all these images ready for you. So let's go ahead and take. Oh, we don't want part two. We'll use this one as our box cover. So we can just go to. Images. All right, so same poster. We want to switch that to be box front images, and it'll be box front. Once that's confirmed, hit OK. All right, now let's go ahead and open the game just to make sure that it boots up. I'm pretty sure it will. Okay, everything's looking good so far. All right, and we're booted, so hit escape to get out of that. All right, now I already have a reshade set up on here, but let me uninstall it, and then I'll show you how to get reshade set up from scratch. <laughs> okay, so of course you'll need to open up your reshade. If you don't have reshade, I'll check out my previous video, and I'll walk over on how to get reshade and install that. But go ahead and open it up. We're going to locate our game. So just hit your browse. And it's just wherever you put your Steam games at. Now, normally, they're going to be in your x86. And for this game in particular, you want to go to your Steam folder, Steam apps, common. And you want to open up your Epic folder. You want to go to your binaries. And you'll want 64. If you're running something older, then you might want to try 32. But try 64 first and see if it works for you. All right, everything looks good there. So now hit next. Um, try 10, 11, 12 Direct X. If that doesn't work for you, then try Direct X9 when it comes to Steam. Some users, this might work. Other users, that might work. And you know it's not going to work because you just can't pull up your reshade menu. Okay, hit skip. Make sure sweet FX is checked. Hit next. All right, you can leave them all checked if you want. All I'm worried about is the border, so I'm just going to check the border. Hit next. All right, we're good here. Close it. Now open up the game, and we're going to get our reshade done. Okay, so it's opening. We do know it works. Now, you're going to get a little message up top that's going to say reshade something version, and you're good. So I'm going to hit your home button, and you'll have this come up. We're going to skip tutorial. And I already have this set here, so I'm actually just going to, going to put this back to its default, and I'll show you how to make those changes. All right, so whenever you first open this and you click on your border, you just want to go to a letterbox type mode. You want to change your black to white. Your size, I'll leave it at 20. Everyone's monitor is going to be different, so 20 might be too big for you. 20 might not be enough for you. So just start from there and see what you need to adjust. Hit your home button, and that's it. Now we have a border. Anytime we start the game, go ahead and hit escape. We still need to get our hotkey set for this not our yeah auto hotkey and we're going to come over here and we're going to go to the sendingwiki.org forward slash wiki forward slash epic and we're going to make a little modification on this i want to run through the lines that matter and break it down to you of why we need this so with Steam and a few other games, you can't really change your controls. They kind of come as is. There's just an easier way to run things. So this is what we're changing. So our right button, which usually is your reload button, that's going to be reload. Middle mouse is going to be your missile. By default, it's going to be Q. So it just shows that this auto hotkey is actually changing these buttons to match these letters on your keyboard. 
So we're going to use this quite a bit going forward. It may not be exact style, but auto hotkey is pretty useful, and we used it natively. I'll show you what I mean by natively within LaunchBox. We're not going to go outside and download another auto hotkey. We're just going to use the one that comes with Big Box. All right, now you go ahead and minimize or close this. Right click on your epic note. I apologize. We have to create the auto hotkey. So open up your new document. Right click and paste. Now I want to have this file in the description as well, so you don't need to do this. It'll have the right modifications that we used. Uh, first off, I want to clean this up. It just drives me crazy when I see this offset. It's not going to affect how the script runs or anything. It just looks better. Um, we're going to delete this line here, the run. Um, this just enables our hotkey to launch the game, but we don't need it to launch the game since LaunchBox is already doing that for us. Alright, so all that looks good. So hit File and Save As. Very important right here, you're going to need to add... Uh, dot ahk to whatever you name this i'm just going to name it epic dot ahk and that will turn this into auto hotkey but you got to change the save as type as well if you leave it as text it's just going to be another text file but change it to all files hit save and when you do you're going to have this file right here go ahead and cut that and we're going to create a folder inside your launch box. I'm using the Uncle Rick, but it's whatever your launch box is. And we're going to create a folder called Scripts. And I'm going to rename that just because I like all my capitals going together. All right, so open it. Yeah, that's one made earlier during testing. So we're going to paste our existing one. Now what do we do from here? We are going to tie it to the game. So go back to your launch box, right click, go to edit, edit metadata, come to your additional apps, and hit add app, name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Epic. Now on the path, we're actually just going to pull out the auto hotkey that LaunchBox uses. And I'll show you where to find that. Third party, auto hotkey, and auto hotkey file. Now that's what your application path should look like. Third party, backslash auto hotkey, backslash auto hotkey, exe. And the application path, this is going to be the script that we created. So come back to our folder, and we're going to go to Scripts, right-click, and you're going to want to show more options. There you go. You want to copy as path. Now come down here, right-click, paste, and it's going to show this. Now, we're going to need to delete the uh, colon and C. If we leave that, that's going to leave this tied to that drive. But by deleting the C and colon, that leaves the screw to where it's not tied to a drive. So if we move this to a D drive or whatever, it's not going to affect how the script works because the script is only looking in the launch box folder itself and not looking for the drive letter and then the folder. So we basically freed this script from that. Make sure you check automatically run before main application. Hit OK. Hit OK. And, my friends, that is it. Let's go ahead and get into this game. And I'll show you, confirm that all these controls work. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the videos that I use, the majority of them I just found through LaunchBox forums by some very talented creators, so 
<laughs> Nowhere am I going to uh, take credit for making those videos. I think the only uh, videos I've really made so far that I used is the one for the uh, Walking Dead and the uh, Blamcon build. So I want to show you how to make your own if you're really interested and want to do that. So I think those videos are pretty awesome. We want to go into uh, two uh, separate videos. The first video is just going to be the quick and easy method. And those will usually be uh, what most people will be happy with. But if you want to get more refined and you want to throw like some animations in the video, I will show you how to do that as well, which I love the animations. I think those really bring out the videos and give them a whole new life. So that's going to be in part two. Follow along on that if you want to. And even if you don't, um, just watch the videos anyways and click in the descriptions. I want to have the completed videos that you can use in your big box of the videos that we create together or that I created. But I'll show y'all how to do it and you can put your own little twist on the videos. All right. Well, anyways, everybody, um, that is it. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will check you out next time. Later.